How would you draw a scientist? This question has been posed to students from all grade levels to understand how people perceive the field of science. When the experiment was initially conducted in the 1960s and 1970s, the majority of students drew white, middle-aged men with lab coats. While more students are drawing female scientists in the 21st century, a gender gap still exists in STEM fields. In addition to gender identity, science lacks representation in other areas like race, ethnicity, physical ability, sexual orientation, and socioeconomic status. Including these identities is essential for making science beneficial to and reflective of our diverse society. Why are diversity and inclusion important in STEM? While science historically emphasizes the single lone person making important discoveries, in reality, teams of people are responsible for the most impactful research. Within these teams, different perspectives drive scientific and technological innovation. Using an interdisciplinary approach, researchers found that diversity matters more than ability when solving complex problems. Another study concluded that diversity may even produce higher quality science. The identities of researchers can influence their ideas and subsequently the status quo of science. Historically, groups of scientists of the same or similar predominant identities have supported misinterpretation of scientific findings and inaccurate scientific conclusions. For instance, white male scientists, arguing for the superiority of their own race, promoted scientific racism and eugenics, which became widespread beliefs and led to harmful policies globally. Scientists with a diversity of backgrounds can prevent harm from occurring. In fact, underrepresented minorities, specifically black and brown students, tend to value social justice more than their non-URM peers. However, there are several barriers that not only prevent diversity and inclusion from happening, but also encourage like-mindedness within STEM. Gatekeepers, such as guidance counselors, teachers, faculty members, recruiters, and managers, have the ability to support or prevent the pursuit of a STEM career and may enforce negative biases. Additionally, as individuals with underrepresented identities climb the academic and professional ladder, they continue to face challenges. Along with lower pay and less professional respect, their ideas are less likely to be accepted by the scientific community compared to white, able-bodied men. White researchers are also more likely to receive funding for their studies compared to those of color. The legacy of inequality in science, although less overt, is still present in our society, with discrimination and prejudice disproportionately affecting historically underrepresented identities. To make STEM more diverse and inclusive, systemic solutions are needed. Acknowledging and supporting different perspectives in STEM can enact change from the inside out. Integrating non-Western approaches into scientific standards is one way to achieve this. For instance, traditional ecological knowledge or information acquired by generations of indigenous populations has been increasingly recognized within modern science with applications in pharmacology and wildlife preservation. Recognizing the accomplishments of those belonging to underrepresented minorities is also important. For example, the American Mathematical Society has emphasized increasing the diversity of its prize committees to increase the diversity of award nominees and winners. It is important for industry and academia to focus on equity instead of equality when creating systemic solutions. Rather than providing the same opportunities to everyone, equity ensures fairness, making adjustments based on pre-existing imbalances. To identify structural issues and imbalances that prevent inclusion, leaders and stakeholders can use equity audits. Equity audits collect data on how resources are distributed throughout an organization's demographics. As a result, they can help determine the institutional practices that lead to discriminatory outcomes. Equity audits are only a tool, however. Organizations and institutions must implement intentional policies based on their findings. Another approach is holistic review in hiring practices. It can reduce bias and strict or unspoken rules making the candidate pool more inclusive. This can translate into more researchers and professionals belonging to identities in the inclusive workplace. Additionally, 
allowing flexibility within STEM can support inclusion. Extending the tenure timeline, for instance, provides accommodation for extenuating family or personal circumstances. Equity is an ongoing process, and industry and academia must constantly work to promote diversity and inclusion, and providing continuous education for gatekeepers at all levels is a crucial step in this process. To increase representation, initiatives that are accessible to everyone, including groups with underrepresented identities in STEM, need to be created and invested in. Financial aid, in general, is an effective tool, with a 2016 study finding that the availability of need-based aid for college-ready students may increase the completion of STEM courses by up to 33% and a STEM degree by up to 60%. High-impact practices, such as undergraduate research and community-based learning, have significant educational benefits for everyone engaged in them, and especially those underrepresented in STEM. Paid internships, another high-impact practice, can reduce the barriers for low-income students, and the U.S. White House implemented this for the first time in recent history in 2022. While mentorship can increase belonging in STEM, it is important that diversity and inclusion initiatives do not rely solely on mentorship, as it can place even more stress on mentors belonging to underrepresented identities. Everyone should be able to participate in and benefit from science. However, there is still a problem with accessibility in STEM. This leaves innovative minds unutilized, limiting human capital, and preventing science from progressing further. Diversity and inclusion go hand in hand to make science have the greatest impact possible.